So as far as Jamaican celebrities go, there are a few names you hardly ever hear call in a mix-up drama and controversy. And even if you hear them name call, them would normally just brush it off and make the 98 talk pass. Because there are some of them we can't do without the mix-up and the drama and the controversy. But you see, Asafa Powell, you very rarely hear the brother there talk out and it involve drama or mix-up. And even if somebody talk about him, him just love it. But this time around, he must be clear him name. Right now you know we stop it. Unstoppable, that we can't stop you. Unstoppable, and now we are Welcome again, Unstoppable family. Welcome back to another Unstoppable TV video. So today's video, we're talking about Asafa Powell, well-known Jamaican sprinter. His name is being called up in a negative light. Asafa Powell feels as if it is his time right now to clear his name because the person who is trying to talk bad things about him, he says, fuels of a negative energy on social media. So Asafa Powell is explaining the whole situation now in his own words. Take a listen. I'm not the type of person to come on social media and, you know, just put my business out there and, um, you know, just talk, talk, talk and counteract everything that people say and re reply to people, comments and all that stuff. But this thing been lingering in the media for too long too long you know my silence not helping you know as figure i would just stay quiet just stay out of this and it would go away but at the end of the day even if even if it go away people will still have it in the back of their head and say yo asafa is this person and asafa don't take care of his kids and all that stuff <coughs> and who was supposed to come for it come forward and clear up this they're not going to do it because this is the type of of things they like you know they they thrive off social media um negativity and all of this all of these things so they're not going to come forward and clear this situation clear my name because they because asaf are going like him too perfect and asaf are going like him this and that so this is you understand so <clears throat> The media have it to say that, firstly, media have it to say that my daughter's mother is my ex. Please stop saying that she's my ex. She's not She's not my ex. She's the mother of my child. She's not my ex. We weren't a couple. We weren't together. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. So please stop labeling the situation as ex. You understand? I've done, I've done things in, in the past. You know, I was never innocent. You know, I was never innocent person. Uh, you know, I was. I've done things in the past, and I've. I got two beautiful children. Two beautiful children from you know my my past, and I love them, love them to death. I take care of them fully. They are not suffering. Not them not suffer. My daughter was born in 2012, and you. So why would it take eight years if I wasn't taking care of my, my, my daughter? If I was not there for my daughter, if I was not taking care of my daughter, why would it take eight years for anybody to say anything about it? When I heard, and I'm going to say heard because I heard over the radio that my daughter, that she was pregnant with my child over the radio. This was like four or five months down the line. And I'm not joking about this. I heard over the radio and I had to make a call and find out that she was pregnant with my child. When I found out right then and there, I just I just went in in support mode. So I, I, the first thing I did, I told her to find an apartment, right? And she found an apartment. I was going to Europe. I pay. I, I, I give her money to pay for her apartment, pay for everything, doctor fee. I have my friend asked my friend to drive her around with my car, drive her anywhere she want to go, doctor, anywhere she want to go. Because I was excited. This was my first, my first child. I was excited, super excited. <coughs> right. Um. When my daughter was born, right. 
I bought a bought I bought her a car to drive drive my daughter around. That car mash up, I got another car. I asked my friend. Firstly, I asked my friend to teach her to drive. Right? I asked him to teach her to drive so then we drive go wherever and learn to drive. Bought her a car, pay all bills every month. Every month I pay rent, pay light, water, I pay car insurance, buy gas put in a car. Right? Everything. She want to go back to college, I pay for her to go back to college. Right? I pay all bills. Whatever she need, I give it to her. My daughter, and during this time, my daughter was always at my house. Always at my house. She would drop off my daughter here. She would go to school, do whatever she's doing, and then pick up, pick up. And, you know, my, so my daughter was always here. My daughter ready to go to school. I pay my daughter's school fee. I buy my daughter's school clothes them. All my daughter had to close them and me buy, me buy all, all them clothes. Me shop for my daughter. Right? She won't go to school, me buy her school clothes, me buy her school bag, me buy everything, me pay for her to go to school. <coughs> so this been going, going on for years and during this time, there, there, there was just a lot of verbal abuse, like random messages to my phone, you know, calling me all sorts of names. I ignore it. You understand? For years now, court was supposed to come in play for years now, but my, my mom keep telling me, don't go to court. It doesn't look good. Don't go to court. So I said, all right, fine. I'll leave this court thing. <coughs> I continue to support my daughter and my daughter mother for years. Continue during all this time. Like I said, we were never together. She was not, uh, not my girlfriend. I was just doing this out of the love for my daughter and the appreciation I had for her for, for having my daughter. 2017 now, everything changed. <coughs> the verbal abuse just got a bit too much. You then turn into too much threat. Threat not to, for me not to see my daughter again. That I act like a father and I'm not a father. Threaten to change my daughter last name and telling me that i've never done anything for my child never ever done nothing for my child so i'm like what i've never done anything for my child that don't make sense now this makes sense where is this coming from anyway guys so i cut back i cut back when that when she made that statement that I was never taking care of my child, I was never there for not doing anything for my child. I cut back, cut back on everything. I'm not going to go into details, I was cut back on everything. <clears throat> so we came to an agreement, you know, she came up with the figure with the amount of money that she wanted per month. She said she want $25,000 a month. So I gave her $25,000 a month. Half a school fee, boom, fine. So this has been going on for, for, for a while. And my daughter was practically living at my house during, during, during all this time. My daughter was living at, pretty, pretty much living at my house. My daughter was at my parents' house pretty much all the time, right? And, I, and during this time, I still buying clothes. My wife always buy clothes for, for my daughter. Daughter was never in need of no clothes. She was never, she never had the need to buy no clothes for my daughter. My daughter always have clothes. My daughter buy clothes, buy way too much clothes, buy clothes way big so she can grow in them. Everything. So my daughter was never in need of nothing. <coughs> and I didn't come on here to, to, to look like no fool, but if I have to look like a fool to bring, to put my point across, then I will do it. You understand? This has been going on for years. It reached to a point where I can I cannot communicate with her. I could not communicate with her. So she started communicating through my wife. So she would text my wife, hey, I'm going to drop off my daughter now. Fine. 
whatever she needs, she would text my wife because I could not have a conversation with her because it was too much disrespect that I couldn't deal with. It would be between my wife and my mom. She would text my mom or that she's going to drop off my daughter or, te or text my wife. If she don't get my wife, she texts my mom. So that's where the communication was. I was never communicating with her. And like I said, my daughter practically lived at my house Monday to, to Friday. Monday to Friday. I have my daughter, I take her to school, I pick her up from school. And then Friday, her mom would pick her up from school and then drop her back Sunday. So, oh, all of this court thing came about. I'm going to try and cut this right now. Just cut it, cut it right here. Because I can't bother with talking about this this thing and it kind of hurt me because even if my friends questioning the situation and they they have been around and they know the situation and know everything where where all of this start now last year in the covid time covid time i gave her a child support the day i gave her the child support she took my daughter to my parents right my daughter was at my parents for two weeks, two or three weeks. Then she went for my daughter, took her back after two or three days, took her back to my parents after two or three days, right? So after she took her back to my parents, my daughter was there for practically two months. When she went back for my daughter, the next morning she took my daughter to my house because online schooling um started so my daughter was at my house doing school monday to friday every week monday to friday then she asked me for child support so i said why do you need child support my daughter was at my parents all the time my daughter was at my house and my parents house why do you need child support you understand my my, the, 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 my daughter was at my parents with at the house that i provided for my parents and money that i provided for my parents you understand my parents was taking care of my daughter why do you need the child support and that's when everything start i'm going to take it to court i'm going to this and that and where right so when people say I don't take care of my daughter and I see all of this thing going on in media, it kinda cut me deep. And I'm I'm just a, always a quiet person. I just I saw if I not go talk, so I must not say anything about him or me do whatever. Him not go say nothing. Him not go talk, him not go do anything. But if you guys believe I'm not I'm a deadbeat dad then continue to believe that. Whoever, all, my, all the liar people who know facts and know the truth, you know, that's off to you. But I just wanted to put shed some light on this situation because, because that's been going on for too long. And I just can't bother with it. And people say the same thing about my son as well. You understand? My son lives with my parents. You understand? I take care of that entire household. You understand? I bought that house. I pay for I do everything. So when people my and, and my son has been living with my parents from him was one year old. Was one. From him was one. From before him can talk, from before him can walk. He has been living with my parents. And my parents was the one who offered to take care of him because I was, my son was going to live with me and my mom said, no, you cannot manage him because you're going to be training, you're going to be traveling all over the place. So let us take care of him for you. Just let us take care of him for you. So that's how my son lives with my parents. So people, people eat you for, for many reasons. Um, people just dislike you for many reasons. It is a strong word, so let me say dislike. People dislike you for many reasons. Maybe it's the way you talk. Maybe it's your success. Maybe um, your, how you look. Maybe nose too big. You know, for many reasons. People people just dislike you for many reasons. You understand? 
Um, for me, I don't know what it is, you know, but people, <coughs> people decide because you're going too perfect, you know. Um, I never tell anybody that I was perfect. You know, some people just assume I'm a perfect. You understand? And I don't want to be, I don't want to be perfect, you know. Um, let me just stop it right here and, you know, hope this open up a lot of people's eyes. Well, me know some of you say, yeah, there is two sides to a story. We hear fame side, we want to hear fear side. Well, some of you probably see the news article already about us half a power not taking care of him that and blah, blah, blah. Right? Well, when you hear fame side, now it's left up to Uno for this side what you think. I want to talk to me down in the comment section. Tell me how you feel about this situation. Do you feel like a safa tell the truth? Or do you feel like him really never did a care for him daughter? I want your own opinion down below. Alright? This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment and definitely if this is your first time here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button now. Turn on all notifications. Once you upload a video, you will get notified. No matter what, don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.